Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa, and for today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you a tutorial on this makeup look that you see right here. I really hope that you guys are excited, and if you would like to know how to achieve this look for yourself, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, jumping in, we are going to start off using Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee, mixing those two together and putting this into our crease, primarily focusing it on the inner portion of the eye. Next, I'm going to take the Tati Beauty Texture Neutrals palette and I'm dipping into the black shade and I'm going to start stamping this onto my eye in the shape that I want. Worry about blending it later, just make sure that you pack on the color in the shape that you were looking for and as you can see I did use tape for this look and if ever I'm going to do like a black smoky eye for the most part I typically use tape because I just like how controlled it makes the overall look in the end that way I don't end up blending this look out to my hairline you can do it if you want to girl but that's not what I was going for today and then once you have it stamped down on about half of your eyelid I'm going to take a small blending brush and just start buffing out the edges and at this point if my behind will stay properly Properly in the frame I am going to start dragging the black into the inner portion I love using this technique because it automatically shears out the shade that way it's not super super deep because I didn't want it to be pitch black in the inner portion of my eye Next, I'm gonna be taking this gray eyeshadow and on another little fluffy blending brush, I'm again just going to do a little bit more buffing and diffusing along the edges. I almost always use a gray shadow when I'm working with black because I really think it helps diffuse the black even more and just make a really nice looking fade up into the rest of the look. So do this until you are satisfied with the overall blend. Next, I'm taking this super gorgeous, like silver foiled eyeshadow, and I'm going to pack this all over my lid. This is such a gorgeous shadow, and I think it just really makes the black look absolutely amazing. And I'm going to go back in with that little blending brush and just buff out the edges and make sure the two shades mesh together nicely. And then going back into that Tati Beauty palette, I am taking that really beautiful silver glitter and just packing that all over that silver shade as well. So now we're going to jump into the face real quick and I am just going to start priming the skin. This is a pore filling primer because your girl has already mentioned her skin has been doing her dirty. And then I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury. This is like the spotlight wand. Thing. I can't remember its exact name, but I'm going to put this in all my high points just to bring a little bit of light to my face. I love using this product under my foundation as you guys saw in my last makeup tutorial. And because the eyes are so dark again today, I wanted to do that as well. And then we are going to put on our foundation. Again, I'm using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation because this just does me so well, you guys. The 2020 stress is really getting to me. Between my skin and all the extra gray hairs I'm having, I really don't want to talk about it so we are also going to go ahead and do some concealer in all the usual places i put it down with a brush and then buffed it out with my sponge and we are going to jump right back into the eyes i feel like i'm all over the place in this video but i did line my waterline with a black liner and i'm just taking the black eyeshadow and pushing it right up against my lash line with a flat definer brush and then once you have that color laid down, I'm going to take a really small pencil brush and just ever so lightly buff it out. Because I'm going to be doing an inverted wing, I don't want to blow out my lower lash line too much. You could definitely do more if you want to, but I was kind of going for a tighter lower lash line today. And then like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing an inverted wing. And Lord, someone tell me it is not just me, but I feel like it is 10 times harder to get an inverted wing even on both eyes than it is to do regular liner. Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't make me be alone in this situation, y'all. And then we are going to pop on some mascara. This is the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. And then you know your girl's going to pop on some lashes. And these are the Lily Lashes style in like Yas Queen or something like that. You guys, these lashes are bomb. And then we are going to jump back into the Tati Beauty palette and take in that cream shade. And this is going to be the shade in which I highlight my brow bone with. Such a perfect shade for a black smoky eye. And then now back out to the face, you guys. What did I say about me jumping around? I am so sorry. But I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Island Ting Bronzer. And I'm going to use a stippling brush to stipple this all over my skin. I'm definitely going to go a little bronzer heavy today. Because every time I feel like I do a really dark eye, I feel like it makes my skin look paler than usual. So I'm really going to bronze the heck out of my face 
Next, I'm going to go in with blush, and I do not know the name of this blush, you guys. It didn't have it on the bottom of the packaging, and I got it in a BoxyCharm what feels like eons ago. But I'm going to go in heavy on the blush today, you guys, like hella heavy, heavier than usual. Do this to your discretion. And then I'm also going to use the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter again today. Again, I think this is such a perfect highlighter when you have a darker, more vampy look. It's just so beautiful. I always use my fingers with this product, and that is because I feel like I can get way too heavy-handed with a brush, so do with that what you will. And then last for the eyes, I am going to pop on my lower lash mascara. This is the e.l.f. Smudge Proof Mascara. Y'all know how I feel about this. You already know. Last but not least for lips, I am going to start by lining my lips with the Ulta Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Spice. And then your girl is going to pop on one of the new um, Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Creams. Girl, I used it before today. It is so good. This is in the shade Cookie Jar, and I really, really like the shade, but I did think it was a little too dark for this look. So I did top it with the ColourPop and I Love Sata E Gloss in the shade Curvy. And then that y'all completes this look. Can anybody say, Alexa, please play Ariana Grande's Position album on repeat? Because this makeup look has your girl feeling sexy as hell. This is grown women work here, okay? I was feeling myself. I'm not going to lie to you. You can clearly see it, but I love the way the makeup look turned out. There's nothing like a sexy black smoky eye in my opinion. Anyways, y'all, I really hope that you liked it. If you did, you know the drill. Definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to your girl if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!